Hi everyone, happy new year to all of you. Now, uh, one of the students asked me a uh, common justification or explain what type of question often comes every year, right? Absence of pyruvate kinase leads to hemolytic anemia. Absence of, for that matter, any glycolytic enzymes can lead to hemolytic anemia. What is the reason? Well, the reason is very, very, very easy. Okay. See, glycolysis happens in RBC, right? In fact, in RBC, glycolysis is the only process that can lead to production of ATP. So, this is the first line you have to write. Okay. Next. So, when we are talking about hemolysis, we are talking about blood and RBCs only. So, we are considering the metabolism of RBC, right? Because having no nucleus, no mitochondria, only and only glycolysis is possible. So, if glycolysis is the only source of ATP, the most important pump that is maintaining the membrane conformation, that is the sodium potassium ATPase pump, solely relies on glycolysis. So, absence of any glycolytic enzyme will lead to disruption or impaired functionality of the sodium potassium ATPase pump that will lead to an osmotic imbalance that will lead to rupture of RBC. Okay, so now you got it. Never forget this reason. So, absence of any glycolytic enzyme will thus lead to a hemolytic condition. Okay, and most commonly, pyruvate kinase deficiency manifests in this way. Okay. So, uh, why, why, why? Because absence of other glycolytic enzyme, be it glucose 6, I mean hexokinase, they have got much more serious implications. Okay. So, fine. That's it for today. Happy New Year to every one of you because it's the first January of 2022. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming exam. Stay safe and take care.